It is a sci-fi romantic comedy that we kind of pitch as when Harry Met Sally meets Rick and Morty or Futurama. So it's the story of two people connecting and reconnecting over the course of 12 years, four planets, three dimensions, and one space cult. Uh, well, I play Max uh, uh, from Molly Max in the future. Uh, yeah, so my character is kind of, um, you know, uh, uh, a little bit of a zero to hero, back to zero s- story a little bit. Uh, he's, uh, and, it, it, and he falls in love uh, in the process. And uh, I don't know, he's, a, he's an ambitious, uh, I don't want to give away too much, right? He's a robot maker. Hi, I'm Bloma. I play Cassie. And Cassie is one of Max's loves, yeah. not to give too much away. We, d- we go through all sorts of love stories in this. Um, but yeah, she's a, um, a fast talk and wonderful little sprightful little girl um, with a really big heart, maybe a little misunderstood, but we end up loving her in the end. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I kind of grew up watching big budget action spectacle films, you know, like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, stuff that's very plot driven and about life and death stakes and kind of movies that kind of transport you to another world. That's really what got me into filmmaking in the first place. Um, and as I got older, I kind of gravitated away from, uh, that kind of plot driven stuff and, and shifted more into liking movies that were very character driven, like When Harry Met Sally and Annie Hall and, you know, movies about people being neurotic in New York and complaining about their therapist and, uh, you know, stuff that's like very relatable and real and stuff that we can all kind of see ourselves in. And uh, I moved to New York to go to film school and um, just over the course of making a bunch of shorts and trying to find my voice, I realized that, you know, I wanted to stay true to what got me into filmmaking in the first place. But Um, also, you know, uh, is true to like the life I lead every day, which is not filled with life or death stakes, thankfully. And, um, so, you know, I, the pandemic happened and I suddenly had a lot of time on my hands. I started rewatching a lot of my favorites and eventually came upon When Harry Met Sally and that movie's a masterpiece. I love it. But, um, you know, I watched it and it felt kind of out of date. Uh, in in a sense of like you couldn't make that today. It, I think it works perfectly for when it was, was made and it holds up in so many ways, but um, I wanted to find a kind of way to bring that to our modern times where, um, you know, that when Harry Met Sally doesn't talk about kind of how your career factors into your identity and um, how there's, you know, fascism is rising outside and, uh, you know, there are all these different things that make up who we are and, um, you know, how we define ourselves and uh, what we look for in a partner. Um, and so I wanted to just kind of update that scenario for the modern era and find a way make find a way to make it fresh and then kind of incorporate all of the other things I love about those movies I grew up watching, like Star Wars. Um, so it was kind of just, um, yeah, wanting to take something familiar, take a, 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 a relatable experience and then kind of present it to people in a way that they've never seen before. It was so much fun. We basically spent 18 months building out all of the backgrounds uh, in the movie. And we, you know, almost everything in the film is practical. Um, every every building you see was a miniature that we built and, you know, glued on all the pieces and, um, you know, is a physical building. Uh, the, every spaceship you see is a physical spaceship. And uh, we would shoot them and scan them. And, um, you know, we did a combination of 2D rear, uh, rear screen projection and 3D rear screen projection, which is similar to what they did on The Mandalorian. And, um, you know, just I think having uh, something that the actors can react to goes so far. Having, you know, being able to frame up and know, see what your background is, is just it's it's so much better than green screen. And, you know, we still did some green screen, but um, it was so much fun to have everybody be able to walk on set and then just be like blown away by um, what they're able to like look up and see and see that world in front of them rather than have to imagine it for themselves. Well, I mean, for me, I think it was, uh, uh, you know, the script and then seeing, uh, Michael's like previous work, you know, those in concert with each other, uh, really kind of sold. I mean, I, I, I've read so many things and, and very rarely would I kind of get a strong sense of, you know, the, the director or writer in this case, both writer and director's sensibilities come through pretty fast um that kind of you know i I got a little aggressive and wanting to be a part of it um and i and and because of that and so uh yeah you just don't see that very often and and i think that's very rare and and also it's it's such a very unique uh voice it's it's uh it's it it was just you know it was really cool and i'm and i'm and there was a there was a blind spot for a moment where we're shooting it because you don't know what you're getting to the at the very till the very end you know, there there are all these LED screens, and you're acting, to, you know, to this thing. It's not there sometimes, and 
and then the first time I watched it was when it premiered, and man, I was blown away. So I'm I'm very I'm very lucky and very happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome for letting me be part. <laughs> I think for me, the moment I read the script, it was such a blend of being so outrageous and so heartfelt at the same time. And then the moment I met Michael, he's just such an actor's director to find someone who created such a safe space to play and to contribute to character and collaborate on character. But again, his voice was just so clear. And that's just something I've been so lucky to work with such fantastic directors. And just to like find that so quickly in our connection together is what drew me to the piece. And then we ended up having the best time on set with it. So I think it was just kind of an immediate yes um just character driven and so heartfelt so lucky to be a part of it mm -hmm.